Hello, I'm Dr. Preet Pal, and today I'll be discussing the intriguing world of probiotics and sporebiotics. As a healthcare professional, I often come across questions about these terms and their roles in promoting gut health. Understanding the differences between probiotics and sporebiotics is crucial for making informed decisions about their usage. So, let's dive in. What are probiotics? Probiotics are live microorganisms that provide health benefits by restoring the balance of beneficial bacteria in the gut. They improve digestive health, boost immune function, and may even have positive effects on mental well-being. Probiotics can be obtained from fermented foods or dietary supplements, but it's important to choose the right strain for individual needs. By incorporating probiotics into our diet, we can support a healthy gut microbiome and enhance overall health. Where are probiotics found and how long does it take for them to work? Probiotics, found in fermented foods and supplements, offer various health benefits. Fermented foods like yogurt, sauerkraut, and kombucha are rich in probiotics. The time it takes for probiotics to work varies. For digestive issues, improvements may be seen within days or weeks, while chronic conditions may require months of use. Effects on immune function and mental health vary and are still being studied. Consistency is key in experiencing the benefits of probiotics. What are sporebiotics and where are they found? Sporebiotics, also known as spore-forming probiotics, are a specific type of probiotic that has unique characteristics. Unlike regular probiotics, which are in their vegetative or active form, sporebiotics are in a dormant state called spores. These spores are highly resilient and can withstand harsh conditions, including heat, acidity, and even antibiotics. Sporebiotics can be found in certain bacteria belonging to the bacillus and clostridium genera. They are present in the environment, including soil, water, and some fermented foods. Examples of sporebiotics include Bacillus coagulans and Bacillus subtilis. Sporebiotics Benefits Sporebiotics offer various benefits, including Maintaining gut integrity, sporebiotics help preserve the integrity of tight junctions in the stomach lining, preventing intestinal permeability and the entry of molecules into the bloodstream that can cause inflammation. Supporting digestive health, they promote the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut, particularly bacillus spores that increase the production of nourishing short-chain fatty acids for the colon's lining cells. Boosting immune function sporebiotics activate immune cells in the gut, enhancing immune system activity to defend against pathogens and support overall immune health. Reducing inflammation by modulating the immune system, sporebiotics have the potential to reduce chronic inflammation associated with conditions like autoimmune disorders, heart disease, and cancer. Potential mental health support. Some studies indicate that sporebiotics may alleviate symptoms of anxiety and depression, although further research is required to establish their precise impact on mental health. Cardiovascular health benefits. Research suggests that sporebiotics can help improve cardiovascular health by reducing LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels in the blood. Promoting skin health. Sporebiotics positively influence skin health by decreasing inflammation and fostering the growth of beneficial bacteria on the skin. Sporebiotic side effects. Some potential side effects of sporebiotics include Digestive disturbances, initial use may cause mild digestive issues like gas, bloating, or diarrhea, which are usually temporary and a sign of the gut rebalancing. Allergic reactions, although rare, allergic reactions can occur, presenting symptoms like itching, hives, swelling, difficulty breathing, or anaphylaxis. Medication interactions, sporebiotics may interact with certain medications, especially those affecting the immune system or digestive tract. Overgrowth of harmful bacteria, there's a slight risk that sporebiotics may unintentionally promote the overgrowth of harmful bacteria, particularly in individuals with compromised immune systems or underlying health conditions. Main differences between probiotics and sporebiotics.
probiotics and sporebiotics are both types of supplements that are intended to support the health of the gut microbiome. However, there are several key differences between these two supplements. Trains. Probiotics consist of live bacteria strains, while sporebiotics are made of spores that germinate into beneficial bacteria. Shelf stability. Probiotics require refrigeration due to their sensitivity to heat and moisture, whereas sporebiotics are shelf-stable and can be stored at room temperature. Dosage. Probiotics often require higher doses as live bacteria may be destroyed by stomach acid. Sporebiotics can withstand stomach acid better and may need lower doses. Targeted use. Probiotics address specific gut issues, while sporebiotics promote overall gut health and immune function. Safety. Both are generally safe, but sporebiotics may be a preferable choice for those with compromised immunity or underlying conditions. In conclusion, probiotics and sporebiotics are essential players in promoting gut health. Probiotics, found in various foods and supplements, work by restoring the balance of beneficial bacteria in the gut. On the other hand, sporebiotics, in their resilient spore form, offer unique benefits such as enhanced survivability and potential immune and digestive support. Understanding the differences between probiotics and sporebiotics allows individuals to choose the most suitable option for their specific needs. As always, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice and guidance on incorporating probiotics or sporebiotics into your daily routine. Thank you for watching. Remember, a healthy gut can contribute to overall well-being.